guys, it is Sunday, March 12th. It is 2, 10-ish p.m. I'm hesitating because we forgot. I'm just realizing we haven't changed the clock in the car yet. It was daylight savings time last night, which I didn't even know about until I woke up this morning and went, I slept in until nine o'clock. Husband's like, no, we had daylight savings time. Yeah, daylight savings time. Anyway, we are done with our Sunday chores around the house and we are going to go try to get some steps in at the mall because it's kind of rainy and cold and icky outside. Plus we kind of have shopping to do. We have a wedding coming up for one of our nephews and neither of us know what to wear. <laughs> so we are gonna go shopping and it's sort of um, a different kind of wedding where you're supposed to express yourself in your outfit and we don't really know what that means <laughs> or how far to go with that so I'm assuming that means I can't show up in stretchy pants so yeah so we're gonna go get some steps in the mall and see if we can find anything that appeals to us and I'll take it from there I'll be back hey you guys it is late in the afternoon hold on 2.50 p.m. Monday, March 13th. I know. I've been crocheting all morning. I'm still working on my sweater. I'm adding the hood. Then tomorrow I'll be working on the sleeves and finishing up the cuffs. And then hopefully by Wednesday I'll be doing the final bit of edging around the whole thing. Then we'll be trying to figure out what we're going to do about buttons because I have no idea. Anyway... I haven't done any of the posts for Monday morning on any of the social media yet. I will at some point. <laughs> um, and I haven't edited the vlog yet either. I will at some point, probably tomorrow. So anyway, uh, it's rainy outside, but I'm having a lot of fun just having a relaxing day, sitting in front of the window, doing my crocheting, listening to some podcasts and things. I mean, you know, sometimes it's what it's all about. And yes, I'm like sleeveless clothes on. I had a sweater on, which is over there. But the heater vent is like right there. Blows right on me when I'm up here. And yeah, it got a little hot. So anyway. I also got a request to do a tutorial on how I am doing my watercolor abstracts. Something besides a speed through. An actual tutorial. So... I do think I'm going to make my some notes and I'm going to work on that. Yes, I'm going to make notes rather than my normal just shoot from the hip video style. So um, if there's anything in particular about that you'd like to see, let me know down in the comments below. All right. I'll hey guys, it is 3.16 in the afternoon, Tuesday, March 14th. I am working on my sweater of many colors. Working on the other sleeve. I've got one sleeve done. I've been pretty much at this all day today along with a few chores. I haven't done much else. Um, Bob, for the first time since the world went nuts, is headed into the office right now for a meeting. He doesn't do that anymore. He hasn't done that for a long time. So... That's weird. He'll be gone for a couple hours, and when he gets home, we'll go for a walk, but yeah. Anyway, I'm sitting here in my cozy corner, working on my needlework. What are you guys up to today? All right, I better get back to it. I'll be back.
guys, this is the first time in months that we are out walking after Bob gets off of work and it's not pitch black outside. Well, we did push the fox ahead. Yeah. Yeah, but technically you would think it would be darker. No, it's fully Not ahead. lighter. No, it's fully ahead, so it's lighter at I night. mean... Oh. So we lost him at least. We, we lost an hour. Yeah, so it should be dark. Anyway, I don't know. I don't get it. I don't understand why we still change times anyway. We're going to go walking. First step we're going to make is there's a house uh, across the way that's looking for pots for a plant project. They have a little sign out by their yard. I have a lot of really big cottage cheese containers. So I filled a bag and we're going to go drop it off at their house. And then get some steps. See what we can see, because why not? I don't know about Bob, but I've been sitting in my chair crocheting all day and then painting. All that required was a couple steps to get to the table, so, you know, I could use the exercise. I'll be back. Good morning. It's Wednesday morning. I don't know, about 10 o'clock, March 15th, I think. Anyway, obviously we're not in the house. Um, I need to get back to work on the sweater today, but first I just need to get out of the house a little bit. I'm going to go check the P.O. box. I'm going to probably stop at Goodwill. Um, I don't know what else I'm going to get up to, but yeah, at least those two things. And just get out of the house a tad. And then if I can get out of my street because of traffic, because that's going to be a thing this morning. Okay. Um, anyway, so we're going to go do those two things and, um, because when I'm done with the sweater, I have a couple of sewing projects I want to do. I know I said sewing, sewing. Um, and I would like to thrift the materials for said sewing projects. So I do more of an upcycle than just go buy stuff. So I'm going to make it more of a regular thing to stop at one or more of the thrift shops. I used to do this when, um, <clears throat> before Bob and I got married, before we had our daughter, and after our daughter was born, I did a lot of thrifting. I still like to thrift. It's fun to... Once I got the sweater done, I have to take it downstairs and put it away. I took all the thrifted clothing and I separated it, took the buttons off, separated the front from the back, all that stuff. And so I, now I've got to kind of lay it out in piles. I do have this green cotton. It's not quite the right color. Um, so I either have to dye it a little bit or I'm kind of thinking I needed I need one more thrifted garment. Um, I did, and here's some more fabric. I did go ahead and piece the pattern together and I cut out the top out of muslin and then I made a couple of alterations. Um, it was cut for someone with smaller breasts than myself. And so I needed to make it a little longer and she does say in the pattern that she recommends cutting the neck a little higher. I cut it the way the pattern was and I, now I see why she says that. Um, so yeah, so I made all the alterations so the pattern's great and it fits really well. Um, I was a little worried because it's a woven fabric dress that's supposed to be a slip-on. That actually fits pretty good, so yay. Um, but I'm really feeling like we need one more fabric 
that's in the green, black, gray realm that goes with this plaid. So I do still have my little piece. <laughs> I might actually grab a bigger piece, but so I think um, next time I go thrifting, I need to look for a little bit more fabric. Let's see. I can grab a piece of this. Um, is there a smaller piece? There must be. There's a pocket over here. So, uh -huh. Pocket. That works. All right. So anyway, I'm going to take all of my stuff downstairs now because there's nothing more I can do up here. I'm also kind of really thinking I need a dress form. It's kind of... Anyway, I'm going to take the sweater downstairs and put her away. I'm going to um, make myself some overnight oats because I need to do that. And yeah, I'll be back. You know, I could make it using the fabrics that I have and then dye the whole thing. Some of it will take the dye, some of it won't. We are headed to the store tonight. Hey guys, it is 1.17 p.m. Friday, March 17th. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Anyway, I started working on the dress uh, pattern from Ella Harper. What's the name of it? Uh, sorry, Ella Harp. It's her work dress pattern. It's just a very basic dress pattern. I've decided to do it in an upcycled way and I had um, three different clothing items that I took apart and I started piecing the fabric back together with some um, fat quarters that I had. I have them because at first I was like, I need one or two more pieces of fabric. <laughs> no, I don't. Um, so we did that. I also took some scraps and I made this trim. I didn't finish the edges. I left them raw because that's okay. As they fray, I'll just trim it. But I'm good with the fray frayed edges but I got the top pieced and cut out and the back. I'm going to use the pocket from the shirt for the front of the dress. I'm going to trim said pocket. Oops. I know it's a little dark, sorry. With the trim that I made all around the edge and then attach it to the shirt to the shirt in the center of here, here. And um I'll probably use this trim around the sleeves. And then if I have enough of it, I'll use enough, I'll use some around the neckline. Um, I have more of the piece together fat quarters that I'm going to cut up into probably squares or something to use um, on the skirt, which I'm going to layer with some of the gauzy fabrics. So anyway, it's it's going pretty well. I'm pretty happy. I didn't order myself a dress for him because anyway. Time for a bowl of popcorn, I'll be back. Okay, good morning everybody. It's Saturday, March 18th. At least I think it's still morning, let's see. I don't know, I think so. Yep, 10.02 a.m. So um, we just did some relaxing this morning. I've had my coffee and breakfast. I fixed a couple of construction issues with the top of the dress. Um, not pattern issues, um, construction issues. So. The plaid fabric is from an old thrifted shirt and it's a little bit fragile and I should have lined it with muslin or something before I put the shirt together and I didn't. But so I had to go back and add lining and reinforcements without taking the top apart. It was a pain. It's not perfect. It doesn't need to be, but it's done. Thank God. So now we can move on to the skirt. And it still fits. So now we can move on to the skirt. Anyway, um, not right now because I need a break from that. Um, yeah, we need to do a little bit more grocery shopping today. Bob's not going to go help the kids with their car this morning because they, um, they have a car project. It's not their daily driver. It's a car project. Anyway, um, they also have a lot of household things to do, chores, yard work. Um, babies do in four weeks, almost exactly. And so they wanna get some stuff done before grandson comes. So can't say to blame them. So they're gonna spend some time doing that. And Bob will go over in a week or two and help Polyus with the car. 
provided Becca doesn't have the baby, but anyway. Um, Bob is checking on some financial stuff in light of all the crazy banking things that have been happening, and we're fine. We, don't, we didn't have any money at SVB, so anyway. Um, but he's checking on things regardless, which is always a good idea. And then I think we might go thrifting and running errands, so I'll let you know. I'll be back. Oh, you guys. Okay, so I talked Bob into going to him at least one thrift store, and I found brand new white twin sheets and a sweater that I've been kind of looking for, something like it, and then a black little sundress that I think I might turn into a skirt. Um, future upcoming projects. I also found a tripod, a really nice one for 12 bucks, so yay. Um, and I finished my dress. I will put a picture here of me in it on. The pink at the bottom is my leggings because I didn't take them off. Anyway, I'm gonna wash it now and, some, and the thrift store finds. Um, but it's the end of the evening on Saturday and so that's it for this week. It's been an interesting week getting back into needlework and sewing and working on this. And because I had to add the muslin lining to it to reinforce the shirting fabric. It's a little heavier than I initially anticipated it being, but you know what? I'm not mad about it. So it's all, it's all good. I'm gonna, some of the fabrics pre-wash, some of it's not. So we'll wash it on cold and then hang it up to dry so it doesn't shrink too much. Uh, anyway, I've got the windows open and the screens are on because it's nice and warm today. I do think a rainstorm's coming tomorrow, but you know, we're gonna enjoy it while it lasts. Anyway, I hope you've all had a great week. I hope you get into some interesting creative adventures, you know, break out something new, something old that you haven't touched in a while, something you've been intending to get to, and just have fun with it. I mean, that's what it's all about, right? All right, that's it for right now. Check out the video description for relevant links, including the pattern to the dress, and, um, I'd love to see what you're making, what you're working on. Leave any questions, comments, or concerns down below. If you want ready access to me, um, help with projects and all of that kind of stuff, previews, stuff you guys don't see over here, and your own private YouTube channel, join my pre Patreon. Link is down below. All right, that's it for this week. Go out and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it, and I'll see you later. Bye, guys.